Hello again everybody and welcome back. This is the fifth video in our six part uh, video series covering uh, character recognition and license plate recognition in OpenCV3 and in this video we're going to implement license plate recognition in Python. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So GITHUB, microcontrollers and more and we'll go ahead and take out the spaces and then we're going to go here and then to repositories and there are two prerequisites to this video today. Uh, the first is if we go to OpenCV3 Windows 10 installation tutorial and then you click on this playlist up here. Uh, I would definitely suggest uh, viewing this video OpenCV3 Windows 10 installation tutorial part 2 Python if you have not already and that covers of course OpenCV installation configuration when using Python. And then the other prerequisite is uh, let's see here OpenCV3 KNN Character Recognition Python, which was part two of this six-part series where we generated uh, classifications.txt and flatten images.txt, and we're going to be reusing those files uh, today to perform character recognition once we have our license plates picked out. And there is one other thing I should mention in the video uh, for uh, this repository here, OpenCV3 License Plate Recognition CPP, which was the previous video, the fourth part in the series, and I'm going to add a link to that up here. Um, <clears throat> when I've had a chance to process all these videos, but uh, in that video we took a look at uh, docs and presentation and then uh, this document here which explained the uh, steps that we followed to actually pick the license plate out and to save some time in this video uh, I don't really think it's necessary to um, repeat that information so uh, I'll refer you to the previous video as far as an explanation of the algorithmic steps we're um, going to perform to uh, recognize the license plate today and we'll just stick to the implementation in this video so if we go finally to our repository for this video here OpenCV3 license plate recognition Python and then in docs and presentation we have the same steps with images document um, which is this is of course using the Python version of the program so um, this is uh, PyCharm at the end we're looking at here but it's the same results of each of the images and then steps.png uh, this is a sort of a flowchart of some of the data structures and function calls involved in the program and in uh, the C++ version of course we use vectors whereas in Python we use lists so I did uh, update this document so the names are consistent with the Python version of the program so uh, please refer to this document if you're um, interested in uh, following the f uh, program flow along so then we can go ahead and make our directory for our project today so I'll just copy this name up here and then you can go to wherever you like to store your Python program so I'll go to documents Python progs and go ahead and make a new folder take out the space and to save some time today let's go to download zip and then we'll go to open and it's going to take just a minute to open the zip for us and what we're going to do is we're going to copy in the python files and also the license plate images when that's done okay so here's our zip so then we're going to go to yes we know we have that open so then we're going to go to all of these files except for the readme we don't need that so classifications flattened images and the python files and there we go we can go ahead and copy those into our project directory and then we're going to go to license plate images and we can copy those into our project directory as well and then we can go ahead and open any of these in pycharm actually let's start with main so open with pycharm and pycharm will take just a moment to load and there are two spots we're going to want to refer to in main. Uh, the first is this here, show steps. We currently have that set to a default of false. We can show that to true to show the steps. And then on this line here, this is where we choose which image to open. So let's go ahead and fire the program up. So if we go to sh uh, shift plus alt plus F10 and then main, we can go ahead and run it. And there we go. There's our first image picked out, McLaren F1. And if we click on the image and press any key, and then that will close the program up for us. And let's next do show steps here. So go ahead and change that to true and run the program again. And similar to the previous program, we can take a look at our steps here. So again, see the um, previous video uh, for more of a detailed explanation. But here's the original image, threshold, um, grayscale image, threshold image, and then here we have all our contours. Here we have the contours that are possible characters. Here we have everything regrouped in terms of matching uh, characters. And then I'm trying to get the text on the 
bottom to show as well as I can down here. It's a little bit tight on the screen, but that's okay. So in any case, if we choose any of these images and then we press a key, we can step through each of the 13 license plates. And then the, now we're into the second part of the program we, where we essentially perform a similar set of steps in each of the 13 potential license plates. And we'll find that we get the longest list of characters when we apply character recognition to the set that actually ends up being the final plate, McLaren F1, and that's how we perform our plate detection. So uh, we'll just test on a few of the other images here. So uh, we can ch turn uh, show steps back off, and then maybe we'll just try some different images here. So we'll try image 9 and PNY EXPS. So that's working for us. And then we can show image 10. So uh, we go ahead and run that. So this is <laughs> almost too easy, but we'll take it. Z-O-O-M-N-65. And then we're going to show, let's do 11 and then maybe just 12. So here we have, uh, this is a little disappointing, H-O-R-5-S-H-1-T is misread H-U. So our character recognition isn't perfect because we get a very good thresholding of the O, but it, it's still misread as a U. I'm not sure the reasons for that. And then, of course, the um, 1 is, well, actually, that is supposed to be a 1. It's just uh, sort of a play on words with the way the vanity plate is. But anyhow, we can go to 12 and uh, F-A-L-L-Y, and then the O is read as a 9, and then U. Um, that's a little disappointing, because we can see we get a very good threshold on that, so our character recognition isn't perfect, but it's still pretty good. So let's just do one more plate then, and there's F5, and easy E Y. This is a particularly good read, because uh, the plate takes up a pretty small portion of the image, and it's not especially well lit with this bright lighting in the background here, so that's, that's a very good read. So I'd say that was successful, and this program's working pretty well for us, so that's going to get conclude this video and in the next video we're going to take a look at the um, final program in this series which is going to be implementing license plate recognition in Visual Basic. So I'll see everybody in the next one.